Okay, it's been a while since I mentioned uh, my name. It's Ron Bannon, and my email address is Bannon. That's B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. Certainly we're on the fourth problem. I know it's a lot of repetition. Repetition's a good thing. You really need to exercise, and everyone does, by the way. So they're saying, you know, is minus five a root? And the answer is either yes or no. So if it's a root, it would satisfy the equation. What does that mean? You'd plug in minus five over here, and it should give you zero. So that's all I did over here. I took minus five, and I plugged it in. Now granted, I realize some students saying, oh, it's too much arithmetic, I don't wanna do that. We don't mind you saying, I don't wanna do that arithmetic. The other option instead is if minus five is a root, x plus five would be a factor. And what we do, divide it into the polynomial, we would get this quotient, and we would get that remainder. If you get a remainder of zero, it's a root, so minus five is a root. Again, I don't see the arithmetic being difficult. However, you may disagree, right? What I mean by that, you may look at this and say, I can't do that arithmetic in my head, can't do that in my head, that in my head, that in my head, yada, yada, yada. You're free to use a calculator. I don't mind, I really don't. And I hope your teachers don't mind either, because sometimes, you know, I'll be honest with you, the arithmetic can get exhausting over time. There's no doubt about it. But however, you should be able to do simple arithmetic. It is tedious, and it can be terribly boring for some people to do. Thank you.